turn the camera on since you won't do your job. <laughs> Thanks. I've been replaced again. Welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. We are back on the uh, Case 300 x -ray. If you're not seen, there's a previous video on it. This is part two. We've got a 300D here. We uh, had some uh, sloppy issues with it, didn't we? Uh -huh. It's only got about 5,000 hours on it, but we had some play in the quick coupler. Uh, previous video, we actually spun these pins so we can reuse those again. You guys can go back and watch that. Tucker's got to do a little bit of welding. Yet on that, the main issue was up here in Funland, you guys see we've got the main boom disassembled from the arm here so we noticed some play in there if you watched that first video this is walking back and forth for some reason the bushings somebody had been in there before hadn't they yeah the hole is was egg shaped this way if you can imagine that we popped the bushings out they fell out real easy um the holes are about 20 to 30 thousandths egg shape and the bushing was too the bushing was too so they use a bronze bushing we'll be putting that in later but uh, in the last video, we bored it out, got it all chewed and welded it up, got it looking pretty slick and everything. So we're ready to take our welding attachment off here and uh, set up a boring rig. So we're gonna bore that out and get, uh, I got a new tool to use today too. I see you got rid of me. Yeah. That's all it took. That's all it took. <laughs> One Saves me hundreds of dollars an hour. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. We're starting to figure this rig out for sure. So, all right, we're gonna get this broke down. All right, we got our boring bar in there. We got our cutter stuck in there. We got a carbide tipped on it. We're going to uh, attempt do some cutting. So I've got a couple high spots in there. So we're going to get this thing going. I crank this to 1200. It's going to take about 50 hours. <laughs> and start it up. Cutting away, they're getting close to our final cut. I hope I have one more little pass. Um, and then we're gonna take it out and do some measuring. So I made a couple of uh, what I call go, no go gauges. This one with the blue stripe is exactly our hole size. And this one's about 2,000 smaller. So this one doesn't fit. We know we need to go a little bit more because it's very hard to measure in these things and get them precise because we're dealing with the factory bush and we gotta hit that hit that size dead on so all right we got that side cut just started cutting over here we made one pass already and cut out the uh, high spots this one's gonna cut out nicely i believe we got one more cut after this While he's cutting there, I'm gonna go make some uh, steel circles. So these are bronze impregnated bushings. You guys watched this before, we've been freeze drying bushings. I was a little worried about freeze drying these. These are the used ones that come out. Um, they got these black graphite, I believe, impregnated, impregnated, uh, it's lubrication. So I was a little worried about freeze drying those, those cracking and falling out. So. We're gonna pull those in with a uh, puller. I've been wanting to buy one of these for a while. This is a through hole, um, basically a quarter power jack. So it's got a hole that goes completely through it. This is a 60 ton. So I got some one inch grade eight all thread. We'll basically put this through here and uh, we'll have a plate that goes through here and we'll kind of just pull that bushing in with the quarter power and the plate. So it'll be something similar to this. 
you guys get the idea we'll just pull that through so i'm gonna go with the plasma cutter room and cut out a few um, circles for this and future projects and uh that ought to be pretty slick so it'll be a be a nice nice setup for the shop here hopefully so all right over here at our fast cut cnc plasma table i already got some circles drawn up here i hope you guys can see those on the screen different sizes that we need and some extra ones so i've got to get some of the steel out of the way i think i'm going to put a piece of uh, half inch we'll cut those out a half inch i can double some of these up if we need a little more strength and stuff like that so To try to utilize the rest of this steel up you guys know steel is expensive i've got brand new well, that's a used sheet i've got new full sheets but uh i think we can slip these circles in here so that's the reason why i didn't put them in my uh, sheet cam program yet because i didn't know if i was going to be able to where i can lay these out so i'm gonna get all these situated where we use this steel up here and go from there all right, I got my circles laid out. I kind of got that one offset. The reason is we've got metal offset back that way. We got more metal to cut. So I'm gonna do what they call a dry run in this program. And uh, I'm just gonna let the torch go through and do its thing. And uh, I'll probably speed it up here. Make sure that we're on the steel everywhere, so. Now it's cutting the centers out. I always cut the centers out first. Because if you cut the outside, the part can shift and then the center won't be right. So, as long as that torch is on the metal everywhere, we should be golden. Still cutting the centers. This looks like an outside here. It's definitely an outside. 
All right, I'm gonna let this run, make sure we're on the sheet, and then I'll fire up. All right, I think we're ready. I had to shift it a little bit. We should be good. Got those cut out. Tucker just showed up from school. He's gonna clean those up and uh, put that steel back up. Should work out good. I'm over here doing the last pass on that uh, bushing on the right hand side of that machine. And unfortunately, the grease seals that uh, we ordered were the wrong size, so we gotta wait till tomorrow before we can put that together. But uh, I'm gonna finish this cut up here and I got some stuff to do here this afternoon and then tomorrow we'll uh, press those bushings in there, so. I got these no go and no go gauges. This is the one that's about 2,000 smaller, so I'm gonna stick it in here and see how it fits. We should be getting really close. bit of drag on it it's real close I'm gonna put the actual size gauge we need all right this is a size It fits, it's a little bit snug, so we're about probably thousandths and a half tight, but this is, I mean, it's a smooth surface, but I think I can clean that up with a uh, flap wheel on a grinder and probably get that out of there, so I'm not gonna touch it with the uh, cutter anymore. So we should be good there. We're ready to break this machine down. What we'll do, we'll pull this bar out and then we'll do some better measuring after we get the bar out. If everything suits us fine, then we'll take everything off. If not, we'll put the bar back in there and clean it up. Man, you did good work. You took my machine down and everything, didn't you? Oh, uh, I did take it off. You took That's it off. About it. Mason cleaned it up. Well, there's our finished product. Don't look too bad for a couple of rookies, huh? Uh-huh. So we might be a couple few thousands tight, but we did just kind of test fit a bushing. It acts like it's gonna go in there all right, so. I got this doohickey all put together. We gotta get us the all thread. I got those plates that I just cut out in the plasma table. Tucker got those cleaned up yesterday. Over here. So I kinda got a stack of assorted floors and plates. So this one here should be the one we'll use to pull the bushings in with. So got it made just a little bit smaller because we do have to recess this about a quarter inch or so for the uh seals that go on the outside so we're gonna get set up here and we'll bring you guys back in okay hold that there mason i ain't got enough hands i'm trying to hold a camera we're gonna go through here like this mason's only got one hand too this kevin's just over there just they don't fit did tucker not pre-fit my pieces not that one. That tucker. I, I just need one. No one on here. What do you do? 
All right, you know what we need now? This is one of those frozen bushings, Mason. Okay. You're just doing everything today. That's what, that's what you get for not sharing your candy with us. Yeah, yeah, thanks. No, it's too late now. Oh, he acts like it's cold. So we don't have any liquid nitrogen today. But I was a little concerned with the, these, you guys will see these in a second. They're bronze with the oil impregnated. I was a little concerned about uh, freeze, freezing them with liquid nitrogen. So we're going to do it the other way here. Old school. Old school way. Old school's with the hammer. And <laughs> <laughs> we've all done that before. Keep up the good work, Mason. Is there a pipe that goes on there? Nope. You in the center, Mason? Do I? You in the center? Yes. You square? I think so. You square, Kevin? Okay. Try it a little bit. You got your fingers out of the way? Yep. Why didn't I buy these tools a long time ago? That's it. All right, you got to hold that, Mason? Yeah. We're backing up. Now, Kevin can run his threads in. Is it all the way in yet? No. Run your nut in. You got a tight spot. Run your nut in, Mason. So it gets tight. Okay. Okay. Get out of the way. You ready? Yep. Go ahead. Tell that over there. It's two different worlds, but they can both see both of them. Mason, why do you shake your head at me like that? Thanks a lot. Two different people. Neither one impressed with me. <laughs> Starting to feel like we're in the YouTube comment section. <laughs> <laughs> are we, uh, where are we going to that down below grade there, Bob? Your steel ain't hanging out, is it? No. You're good. You did that good? Go ahead. I how far it's going to I feel like it stopped. Okay. Oh, Mason. Yeah, I got it. Here you go. Let me stay out light for a second there before we take it apart. Make sure that this is where it's supposed to be. Feels like it is. I like that. You like that? Yeah. Brand new. All right, we'll get this apart and switch sides. I'll turn the camera on since you won't do your job. Thanks. I've been replaced again. Ooh, a lot of water. What are you pushing that over there for, bud? Did you go over there? Okay. You staying over here? Not down. 
Good word. Not down. We're in the middle of something, right? Okay. We're shooting live video on YouTube. Awesome. We're doing really? live in the middle, huh? Fire Run your nut, nut in, Mason. Or just hold it. Did you do anything? Hopefully, it's tightening enough on his side, too. I'm just letting it spin. All right, you got it ready, Mason? Fingers out of the way? Yeah. Yeah, I was imagining when it's on break, it's coming out here like a torpedo. That one ain't coming out of it. Press it. Mm. Looks like it's kind of jacked it off. Probably good in there. I'm gonna set it up. You ready, Mason? Yep. Jay, where's my seals at? Uh, they're on order. <laughs> for the second time. For the second time. Somebody said the wrong seals, so we got a little recess there for the seals. As soon as those come in, we'll put those in and put it back together. I'll tell you what, those bushings ain't coming out of there, though. That's good. You want to slide that pin through there, Mason, after you get done lifting weights over there? Try it. Just to make sure this fits in there. This thing's light too. And be all brand new. No need to go to weightlifting class like Tucker and Hunter. Oh, look at that. Mm. That's snug as a bug here, ain't it? Make some more order right bushings. <laughs> I like it, folks. All right, we finally got our seals in from Case. Been waiting a couple days. I got the other side in already. I'm letting Kevin mess this side up on camera. Thank you. You're welcome. We got a nice fit to them. These seals kind of keep the dirt and grit out. Well, for, for people who don't grease their machines, is what I've always said. So. <laughs> Pretty nice. All right, since Mason's at school, you're gonna be the operator. Of that? Yeah. Oh, I'm playing all you gotta do is so all you gotta do is pull back <laughs> on the right lever and Please pick up. No. Keep talking, Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the things we hear off camera. Just leave your little forklift off, bub. Well, you're getting all excited. One day. You're not gonna get there yet. No throttle. Now these people can't hear. Unlock your excavator. You don't even know how to run a case. Because I have all this metal around. Are you gonna pull back on the right lever slowly? Oh, you went 
way downtown, didn't you? You need to go up, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Let's hold up here. Keep going up, Tucker. Move him over a little bit this way. Experienced forklift operator can back right out from that, bub. Is that you? Nah. Go on down a little more. There you go. Get the ladder and go on the other side. You think he's that good? Your friend Tucker's there to help you. Thank you, friend. If the bolts wasn't there, you'd have it. He says to keep backing up. All right. Tucker, you want to hop in there and see if it works? So we gotta watch the fan up here. You probably wanna tuck it up so uh, you can weld that, right? Oh, 
wasn't terrible. No. Go ahead and lift her up. You may have to swing it over this way to clear that probably. Swing over this way a little bit. Does he clear that pan motor yet? Come over this way some more. Now go on up. You're all right. We're watching you. He's missing that blade on the other side, ain't he? Go ahead and pull your arm back into you. You what? Pull back on your left handle. All kinds of room. Go ahead and start going up. Go up. Does he clear that motor over there? You swing over this way. Is it clear? Come over. There you go. Go on up. Go on up. It'll be tight. Now suck your arm in. Roll your bucket back. Other way. He's gonna have to swing plumb over here, Kevin, to do that. Real close on that plate. You all right? You coming? Is this counterweight all right back here? Yeah. Oh, you got it, bud. You got her. You got her. There was like maybe an inch. Pull her on over a little more. You get right over. Is the counterweight all right? Get over here in your welding station. All right, now go ahead and pick your boom up. Go on up. All right, now pull your arm in. Now cover your bucket to you. There you go. Let's get a block of wood, Kevin. Curl it a little more. Oh. You want to weld it right here or what? Yeah, you can put your arm out. So um, put your arm out. Go up a little more. Go up a little more. All right, now put your arm out. Throw your bucket. Oh, no more up. Let's get a block under it. Okay, go down. There you go. Good job. Shut her off. All right, so what Tucker's gonna do here, this is wallered out about a hundred thousandths an inch. Um, we're gonna put this back down to uh, spec, grind it out, weld that up, and uh, this machine will be done. That's too much pressure. You did a good job. Everybody's everybody's clapping for you. There's applause. You hear a lot of applause? I hear it right now. You had an inch. Inch is a mile. You know, all we had to do was spin that blade too a little bit, but we didn't tell you that. <laughs> all right. 
So I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I know these people are in a super hurry to get this thing. And uh, I'm probably not going to be able to film the ending of it, right? But you guys seen the whole process. I think it went really well. Bushings fit good. That pin's nice and tight. Um, so, yeah, he's just going to clean this up, weld that area up, make that all tight. He's got the back fixed already. He's been waiting a couple days just for this moment right here, haven't you? Hey, me? You. You keep telling me I'm going to do it, and I'm not going to do it. Gonna do it. I know. It. We've been waiting on seals. That's cases. Screw up. A local, whole local dealer. Uh, it's more just this right here. Okay. This and this. I'm trying to shrink her down a little bit. We'll get some measurements here in a second. So that's going to be a wrap on this here excavator part two video. So um, we got those pins in there turned and everything. That went well boring and welding and all that stuff. So people are waiting on this machine. It's sold. Um, had a big green D7. We got plenty of more cool videos coming up. We got that toolbox giveaway. So you guys have seen that video. If not, go back and watch it. Um, that's going to be given away here real soon. And uh, as always, guys, we appreciate you watching. And we'll see you next time. What are you doing? Well, these young has got these cowboy looks, and I just want to be a cowboy like them. He wants to be in the PBR. So I found this sweet hat, and this Joe Burrow, or whatever it's called. That looks my like that looks like my line boring parts. <laughs> nah, that's my belt buckle, bro. What's the matter with you? <laughs> yeah. It looks like one of our viewers sent us some gifts for me and you. Well, these look like nice candy bars. Poor Kevin. All right. These are my people. I had a nice viewer named Patrick send us some stuff for circuit board work, so I'm gonna take a peek at it here. Well, Mr. Pat sent us all kinds of cool stuff. All this electronic stuff. So I did a video a while back on repairing a circuit board and we got lots of comments, didn't we? Yep. yep. I did make a mistake. I did have the right kind of solder, but I said acid, uh, Acid core solder, I did not have that, but uh, Mr. Pat sent us some thin and heavy solder, cleaners, suction guns, candy bars. That's right. And he sent us a solder gun. Man, I didn't need this, but it is awesome. I do truly appreciate it. So we'll definitely swing send some uh, swag your way. So, so cool. We love it when we get stuff from viewers.